So in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to use optical margin alignment in InDesign. Um, so first I'm going to show you this text box. Um, if you look closely, you can kind of see that it, it doesn't really feel like it's lined up right. Um, these hyphens kind of make it seem a little, the edge a little bit ragged. Um, so we're going to use optical alignment to help fix that, to make it look optically aligned. <laughs> um, so you can find optical alignment in the story panel. Um, and if you don't have that open, uh, you can go up to a window, um, go down to type and tables, oops, and then go down to story. And then that should pop up. And then you can see um, there'll be a little button for optical margin alignment. And then you just want to click that. And you can see when I did that, here I'll unclick it. But you can see that you can see some of the lines shift over a little bit. Um, and generally you want this to be the same um, as your body copy size. So mine is currently 9 points, so I'm going to change it change it to that. Um, so yeah, so that's how that works. Um, one thing I did notice, which I've made this mistake before, but um, if you have a paragraph style and you have uh, ignore optical margin clicked, it will like override that the optical margin alignment. Um, I've had that clicked before and I didn't realize it. Um, so that's kind of a pain and it's something to be aware of. Um, so definitely make sure that's unclicked. Um, but yeah, so that's how you use it in InDesign. Thanks for watching.